Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today you're joining me for a lovely bike ride from here which is Tetchel and as you can see what a great place it is and what a beautiful day for it. We're riding this bike today, this is the Mango Bikes Black Series, that's a bike that is actually a geared bike rather than a fixie or single speed and I just really wanted to share this video. I've put a lot more shorter clips in this one just to try and give you the gist of the sort of riding and the sort of area that this is biking through as these are the sorts of rides that I absolutely love to do now that I'm getting further and further away from winter mooring and uh, adding in a good few more miles between me and my hometown where I work and where all my family and friends are and so on and these are the sorts of bike rides that it's all just about enjoying the outdoors and taking your time, not rushing. For example, if I'd have been wanting to get into town and had anything urgent to do, then I would have gone in the opposite direction from the bridge that we started out on. And at that point, I would have probably had, not sure how many miles, but probably about a 45 minute bike ride. Instead though, as I just was, like you say, trying to enjoy it and making the most of the good weather while it was here, I went the opposite way and just added in a few miles and took me time, took plenty of moments of stopping and standing in these gateways, taking photos and just enjoying the countryside in general. But the bike ride, rather than about 45 minutes, was somewhere I think about maybe including all the stops of course. Not sure if it was about an hour and a half, maybe slightly longer. And again, I mean, that's extremely slow if I was actually wanting to get anywhere in a hurry. But I wasn't. And I was just making the most of exactly this sort of thing. And really, as I say, there's just so many places like this that I'm lucky enough to be able to moor the boat up and then just have miles upon miles of general rural roads to ride down. And this I just wanted to stop and draw a note to. Yes, that really is a toad on a sign. Um, I'm not really sure what the significance of or why there are so many frogs around there, but they get their own warning road sign. This is one of the places that I was talking about where I just randomly like to stop and just enjoy the scenery and surroundings for a moment or two. I really wanted to just show you this place on camera because I just love this little tiny stretch of canal between these two bridges. You've got the railway bridge there and obviously the little humpback bridge we're on. You've got your timber framed building at the side and just this weird stretch where you've got a brick wall as each side of the canal literally planted in the middle of miles of really rural canal where all the sides are overgrown and there's not really much scope for actually base, well, the most simple basic moorings of actually getting across to the side without beaching yourself in a lot of places. And even though we've been cutting through really rural roads up till this point, you might notice how we've been on this nice big wide road. That's because this is in an area where you've got a couple of really random, uh, randomly placed industrial sites and a lovely meat factory, which I can't imagine how grim that must be in <laughs> on the inside at least. Um, and basically, because of that, the roads have to be wider for all of the massive wagons and that that do come and go to these places. Now, that little stretch there that we've just gone on is just a tiny sort of maybe five minute top stretch where you go down the path on the main road there. And then again, we are now branching off back into the more rural roads. This is again one of the places that I've spent so much time in my childhood and Going back, probably you would have found a very, very young Dan Brown biking up and down these roads to Babbins Wood and Middleton Pool and all of these wonderful, classic, really rural places that, again, living and growing up in somewhere like Oswald Street, that's just planted right in the middle of the countryside. You literally can hop on a bike and within five minutes be just out in the countryside and that countryside won't really end for a good dozen miles or so in many directions. So, I suppose, as we now find ourselves back in town, I will wrap things up and say thanks for watching. Feel free to check out all my other videos for loads of boat stuff, weekly Viking videos, and goodness knows what else from the great outdoors. Feel free to add me on Facebook and Twitter and like the Facebook page, and please do consider checking out my books available for the Kindle. Find everything just mentioned in the description, and until the next time, keep it bike-worthy, keep it boat-worthy, and of course, farewell.